Vikings versus Bears preview. This upcoming Sunday is a must-win game for Minnesota if they're going to realistically stay in a playoff hunt because both Chicago and the Vikings are 6-7. and seven. If the Vikings fall to 6-8, and eight, Chicago, they then leapfrog you before, oh crap, we have the Saints on Christmas Day. Now, since we last faced Chicago, the Mitch Trubisky era has been reborn. He's a starting quarterback again. After an embarrassing loss to Green Bay, Matt Nagy went all the way off on his team. And hey, they finally snapped a six-game losing streak last Sunday, beating the Houston Texans. Now, going back to Mitch Trubisky, yes, he has 100% been a bust. At the same time, He's still athletic. He's still a mobile quarterback. Those type of quarterbacks always give the Vikings problems. So if the Vikings are going to win this game, the key defensively for Minnesota has to be containment. You have to keep Mitch Trubisky in the pocket. Force him to beat you with his arm. I'm looking at Efedi Odenabo, DJ Wanham, Eric Wilson with the help at the second level. And if the secondary can stick long enough, you have a couple of chances to get some coverage sacks because Trubisky, he's not comfortable going beyond his first read now if the containment breaks down and the play extends and Trubisky he gets outside the pocket then you're inviting the Bears to move the chains and that includes extending plays for guys like Allen Robinson to get open now last time that we faced the Bears he was relatively quiet no fault on his own it's because Nick Foles was his quarterback but because of the extra dynamicness that Trubisky brings to the table I would expect Allen Robinson to get much better opportunities. Another key factor defensively for the Vikings is you have to stop the run. Last time we played Chicago, David Montgomery, he was inactive. The last three games, however, he's rushed for 288 and three touchdowns. You have to stop the run. A quarterback that's as limited as Trubisky is, you're better off forcing him in second and long situations opposed to second and short. I think the Vikings defensively, they should be fine. Now, offensively for the Vikings, the offensive line has to be cognizant of the fact that Chicago, they have a very physical defense. You have to somewhat try to match that physicality that they're going to bring. The O line, you have to stick your blocks. Obviously, Dalvin Cook, he's the focal point of this offense. But last time we played Chicago, Justin Jefferson could not be stopped. Eight catches 135 yards you have to go smack at this Bears defense with Justin Jefferson again until they can prove that they can stop him also the last time these two teams met Irv Smith Jr he was inactive If Chicago wants to get overzealous with their linebackers, make them pay by getting the ball to Irv Smith Jr., who can really, really stretch the field. And the last thing I will say is this. If the Vikings are in field goal territory and it's fourth down, go for the first down. If you score a touchdown, go for two. I never want to see Dan Bailey trot out on the field again. I get it. He's the sixth or seventh most accurate kicker of all time and all that stuff. Right now, this dude sucks. No kicks unless it's punts. Put out the punter. Let the punter try out for the kicker in this game. I think the Vikings should do enough. Really, it's going to come down to what the Vikings can do defensively. I think offensively speaking, the Vikings, they should outplay the Bears. But defensively, if you can't keep containment, then this is going to be a close game. I'm going to say we always struggle against athletic quarterbacks. I'm going to say the Vikings actually lose this one. I'm going to say it's going to come down to the wire. Bears win 23 to 21. Chicago. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. We do this three times a week. Mediocre Best Sports Podcast with Realistic Randy. Check me out on Twitter at Realistic underscore Randy. Facebook at Realistic Randy. Next podcast will be on Monday reacting to Sunday's game. And then after that, I'll be back in studio. We'll see you then.